Ahoy, mateys! And welcome to the 2020 Loft Kids Fest at Home Edition. I'm Pirate Jeff. I am the program director here at the Loft Cinema when I'm not sailing the high seas looking for adventure. And yes, I carry a small broom with me instead of a sword because I enjoy cleaning up. I could use a little dusting over here. I could use a little dusting over here. And Pirate Jeff always acts responsibly because I always clean up after myself after plundering the loft popcorn booty. Give me that popcorn. Ah, It's so good. I'll clean that up later. I got a job to do. Now, you all know that we are not getting together in the theater this year for the Loft Kids Fest. That's why we're very excited to bring the Loft Kids Fest home to you so that you can enjoy all the action from the comfort of your own couch in your own pirate ship. And there's a lot of action going on at the Kids Fest this year. It doesn't matter that it's at home. It's still packed. As usual, we have a free, fantastic film for you every single day. We also have amazing, mind-blowing crafting activities for you. You can make really, really cool stuff based on items that you probably have laying all over your house right now, all over the deck of your ship. We also have a free daily raffle with an amazing prize donated by our good friends at Bookman's Entertainment Exchange. And this year, we have a mega exciting Pirate's Treasure Hunt. There's clues every day on the Loft website for each and every film. One lucky kid is going to win an amazing prize, so amazing I don't even know what it is at the end of the Kids Fest. And that prize is also courtesy of Bookman's Entertainment Exchange. Thank you, Bookman's. The one thing we can't get you this year is the free popcorn because we can't fit it into the screen. But as I have pledged to you, I will eat all the popcorn that we would have served at the Loft Kids Fest. It will not go to waste, kids. It's good stuff. You remember how good that popcorn was. I would like to thank also our amazing Loft Kids Fest sponsors, our gold program sponsor, Long Realty Cares Foundation. I, I also want to thank our program sponsors, Pima County Public Library. They got good reading over there. I also want to thank Pima Federal Credit Union for all your financial needs, kids, and Rusing Lopez and Lazardi. Attorneys at law. And I also want to thank the Arts Foundation for Tucson and Southern Arizona. So thanks to all of them for making this possible. And let's not forget some of our other great folks that we need to thank. Mildred and Dildred Toy Store. What a great treasure that is. And they are here once again to offer some crafting advice for all of us. And I also want to thank two of our great, great Loft staffers, Ben and Shauna, for all of their hard work. And let's thank the entire Loft staff while we have the chance, okay? Let's all say it together, kids. Thank you, Loft staff. Raise your brooms. Thank you, Loft staff. And give them the double-handed wave. They're all watching. They're very excited about this. And as always, the biggest thanks goes to you, kids, because without you, there ain't no Kids Fest. So thank you. Now, today, boy, have we got a good one for you. Today, we're going to be watching The Pirates Band of Misfits from 2012. This is brought to us by the scurvy scallywags who also brought us 
Sean the Sheep movie, Chicken Run, and Wallace and Gromit. I should make a disclaimer, I don't think they have scurvy, but I just said it because it was a pirate thing to say. Yes, it's Ardman Animation Studios, or as a pirate would like to say, Ardman Animation Studios. So this is a great example of stop motion animation, kids. It's the best kind of animation, and what a film this is. It's about the Pirate of the Year contest, and it's really fun. It's really wacky. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of laughs. There's a lot of pirates. There's a lot of treasure. There's some big legs. There's a walking the plank. Everything. This movie was also nominated for an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. And kids, I know you follow the Oscars. I know it. And if nothing else, I can guarantee you, you will laugh your booty off. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. So, please enjoy the Pirates Band of Misfits. Now, let's see what Nikki from Mildred and Dildred has for us in terms of a great crafting experience. Nikki, give us a good craft or you will walk the plank. No, I'd never make Nikki walk the plank. But show us your crafting exercise today, Nikki. Take it away. <laughs> it's Nikki from Mildred and Dildred again, and I'm here today to show you how to make a top using a little shaky lid from a spice container and some paper and crayons and scissors and a skewer and something like a thumbtack or a pin. Okay, let's get started. So first, you're going to take your little spice shaker and trace it onto a piece of paper. Now if you want, you can color it here. So you're going to need to cut it a little smaller than what you trace so that you can fit it inside. Like this. Because there's this little lip, you know? You're going to fit your paper in there. We need to cut a little bit more. Good. Now, I'm going to take a little, you can use a thumbtack or a pin, and this will help you find the middle. And then let's make that hole bigger. As big as you can get it. Okay, cool. Now you're going to take your skewer and it's easier if you go to the plastic part first and then the paper and move it all the way down to the bottom and then give it a spin Yoo and then once you know how big this paper is supposed to be you can might help to use a little pen. You can get that paper out and you can trace it and maybe try coloring a different way. And if you do things like this, when it spins, the colors will mix and that's fun too. And you can make all different designs like swirls or whatever you want. Woo! Cool. All right. Well, here are my tips. So let's see, I think my skewer is probably about five inches long. And you can see that I've got the top, like middle, about a half an inch from the end. And that's the best way to make it spin. All right, cool. Thanks for supporting The Loft, guys, and Mildred and Dildred. And hopefully we see you soon. Bye. Someone's calling. It could be a clue. I better check it out. Hello? Yes, this is Jeff. 
and I am at the Loft Kids Fest 2020 at Home Edition. How may I help you? Ah, it's a keto at the center on the phone. Let's see what they want. Yes, yes, yes. I think kids would enjoy that. Hey kids, would you want to see a cool martial arts video from Aikido at the Center? Mmm, I thought so. Yes, let's do it. Alright, thanks for calling. Okay, let's get ready for some hot martial arts action with Aikido at the Center. Take it away, Aikido. Hi, my name is Adam and I'm an animal care supervisor at Reed Park Zoo and today I'm here to talk to you about our giraffes. The most obvious feature you see on a giraffe is their long necks. A human neck has seven vertebrae in it, so how many vertebrae do you think a giraffe neck has in it? They actually only have seven as well, they're just a lot bigger. So giraffes have some really neat adaptations. One of them is that they have a tongue that can extend over 18 inches out of their mouth and they can use it prehensilely, which means they can use it kind of like a finger. And so they use that tongue to grab leaves off of the branches and they like to eat leaves off of really, really thorny trees. And so that tongue can work around all the thorns and pluck the leaves off of. If you ever see them eat, watch for that tongue come out. It's really interesting. Giraffe in the wild are going through something called a silent extinction. And that's because for years, people thought giraffe populations were good because they're such a noticeable animal and you can see them easily in Africa. But once they actually did a population study, they found that their numbers have dropped by about 40% in the last 30 years. And they just haven't gotten a lot of attention for that. Here at Reed Park Zoo, we have one of the oldest giraffes in the country. Her name is Denver, and she's 31 years old. The average female giraffe lives to be about 18 to 19 years old, so she's very, very elderly, and we're very proud of the fact that, that she's still healthy and still going strong at that age. Jasiri is our nine-year-old male giraffe. You can tell Jasiri apart from Denver, our female, because he is taller, he's darker in color, and he's got a bony forehead. Giraffes are the tallest land mammal on Earth. Jasiri, our male giraffe, is about 16 feet tall, uh, but male giraffes can get up to 18 feet tall. 
Pets. If you'd like to learn more about our zoo, please visit reedparkzoo.org.